Hello, welcome and a very good evening. Uh, we are back with the Game Boy Pocket uh, Link Zelda edition. And uh, last time it was working fine, but there were a few glitches with the cartridge rebooting. And um, I figured out that it's still happening sometimes. Um, now when I try, it did work fine. However, um, these are freshly charged uh, nickel and metal hydride batteries and they are shown as almost empty because I guess it's uh, the 1.2 volts thing uh, because the nickel metal hydrides of course have lower voltage and I got a comment from a friend who said uh, well the reset could very well be due to the voltage regulator inside here uh, because the IPS screen is actually more power hungry um, than the previous screen, more or less, and uh, or needs a bit more stable power supply. And that makes sense, I guess, because it has uh, backlight and everything, which <laughs> probably takes more than, than the previous display did. So what did we do? We got ourselves this tiny little thing, and we'll have a look at that in a second under the microscope because it's really, really, really tiny. And uh, let's have a look here. The whole thing looks like this. It's basically, I think, just a voltage regulator chip. Didn't find anything about that online. So not sure which one that is. A bunch of capacitors and resistors, and that's that, I would guess. Um, so pretty simple and also very tiny. Um, so we are going to install this now because um, I hope that this will fix all the issues and hopefully also give us a better battery life because the old regulator is not as efficient. Um, it's also producing some kind of voltage for the old LCD display, which is not needed anymore. So yeah, there, there should be definitely some efficiency uh, gains in there. So let's open this up. We will desolder the old one. Um, the installation instructions say you can leave them in, but just snip off a pin or something. We're not going to do that. We are going to do a totally reversible mod. Um, we can put back in the old regulator if we wanted to. We still have the original screen as well. But um, of course, hopefully this will work. So a very quick look, uh, this here is the power regulator, you can't see it from this side, we need to take out the board once more, but um, it's mounted from the other side and the new regulator actually comes on here from this side, um, which is quite interesting actually. Uh, so we will desolder these five pins here and instead um, the new regulator board will be put in place which should fit nicely in here. Um, yeah, so let's uh, take out the couple of screws and then uh, desolder the thing. Alrighty, um, we got it out, except for those two pins. Uh, in the end, I cut them off anyway, so this is the old regulator. Uh, you 
can probably install new pins if needed. That's not a big deal. And I did not want to destroy the board at this point. Um, plus it might help uh, soldering the new board in place. Or maybe we can even try to pull this out with some tweezers and uh, the regular iron. That should be very much possible. So all of the pins are out now. That should be fine. I'm gonna turn off the desoldering pump because it's super loud. And this should actually fit in very snugly here. Yeah, it fits right below the left big capacitor there. Um, yeah, I think that should work. So let's try to close this up by soldering this first. Then we have to reconnect the uh, LCD screen and hopefully this thing will still work. Alright, I think that's it. Um, looks all nice and shiny. Let's close this up and um, test it and fingers crossed this will not explode. Alright, uh, after a few mishaps with uh, the wrong screw in the wrong place, I managed to close this thing up, amazingly. Um, where's the thing here? So these are the IKEA nickel metal hydride uh, batteries. Let's pick uh, Super Mario Land 2 for this test. And it's still booting up. The battery indicator is still the same. Well, that's probably still due to the um, 1.2 volts versus 1.5 volts. Uh, but it doesn't uh, reboot, at least. Question is, uh, will it stay like that or um, will it crash again? Only time will tell, because today this thing worked just fine. My hope is that it was actually due to the regulator. That's at least my working theory until proven otherwise. Uh, but so far the operation seems to have been a success. We should at least, at the very least, get a better battery life out of this. And yeah, um, thank you for watching, I would say. Um, see you in the next video. Share, like and subscribe. And It's actually pretty hard to talk and play this level at the same time. If you're not convinced yet uh, of the IPS mod, I still definitely recommend it because the original Game Boy Pocket and the original Game Boy period have very, very bad screens indeed. And this one here is so much better. And I missed a flower there and got hit somewhere here. And I'm probably gonna die soon. So yeah, um, please share this video and subscribe and leave a comment and uh, tell me about your Game Boy adventures. So long and bye bye.